Uh, welcome, uh, Coffee Farmer. My name is Bernard Dungo from Fadiri, Africa. We are experts in soil testing, and uh, today we are in a coffee farm uh, where the farmer, the owner of this farm, uh, tested his soil and uh, did put into action our recommendations. So if you look at this branch, you can see that it has started bearing berries light from uh, the head, well, from the beginning of the main to the end of the, of the branch. And you can see almost every node has, uh, has berries. And uh, when coffee is well fed, every node will bear not less than uh, 10 berries. And that will increase the productivity of the farm. The importance of soil testing starts right from uh, the feeding of, the, of, the, of, of your crop. And uh, one of the things is we advise the farmer on how they are going to, to add the soil fertility uh, so that the crop itself can be able to absorb these elements and actually make uh, the berries achieve their quality. Now one of the things that uh, will tell you that coffee is well fed is that when you look at the, at, at the leaves, the, the plant leaves should be large enough. Remember, the leaves are the factory of the plant and they feed, they manufacture food to ensure that we get quality berries. The other advantage is uh, we test the soil acidity. And you know, um, acidity is a major issue in this country uh, because it is one of the limiting factors in which the plant is able to absorb elements or fertilizers or even from organic fertilizers to its, uh, for it to use. The other thing we look at is the organic matter. And when we talk about the organic matter or manure, we are talking about well composted manure. Uh, I know most of the farmers use just take manure right from the cow shed to the farm, but uh, that is not the right way. We are supposed to take the manure through a process of uh, decomposition, and by the time you are taking it to the farm, it will look like the soil uh, and it will not even have the odor. Um, the other thing is that we check at is the availability of the other elements like nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, uh, which are the major elements that are used by the crop. And lastly, we check the cation exchange, which is the ability of the plant to absorb elements that are in the soil. Most of the time when you have things wrong, uh, the cation exchange is seriously affected because these elements form complex ions that cannot be absorbed by the plant. So when once we have done the soil analysis, then we are able to give the farmer recommendation that they will use uh, over the growing season so that you can maintain good health and get good harvest out of your crop. Uh, now I want us to take the next move and we go to the farm and take a sample because we always test a sample uh, and the quality of the sample and this is very important the quality of the sample is what determines the quality of the results that we give to the farm. Now let's meet at the uh, farm. We are now at the farm, we are taking the sample. Uh, there are a few things that we observe when we are taking the sample. Number one, we do not take sample uh, below the plant. So we move our bit uh, outside where we have the, the tree canopy and we we'll dig a hole that is one foot deep. Uh, the other things that we observe is that we do not take sample where there are the pathways, uh, where we have gullies of water or where erosion has taken place and also where uh, is very close to the, to the boundaries. Uh, now where we are, we are somewhere at the center, we will take seven uh, holes and we have already dug one hole, uh, one foot deep and have then removed all the soil. Now we are going to slice on the side of, the, uh, of this hole from top to the bottom. And this is what will make our first sample uh, that we are going to use and take it to the laboratory. So we take the sample and as you can see this sample uh, will take uh, this soil uh, from the other holes. Then we mix them thoroughly uh, to make a composite sample uh, that we now uh, take to the laboratory. Now we are in the stage in which we want to test our soil. Uh, we as Fadiri Africa, we use digital machines, they are called soil scanners. This is another technology that is used to test the soil and you are able to get the results on site. This machine is rechargeable and it works hand in hand with, uh, with uh, an application that is found on the phone uh, which we are going to connect the charger and the phone so that you can be able to test. 
uh, and we do connect them using Bluetooth, uh, which as you can see is up, uh, is on here. So we connect using the Bluetooth, uh, and the first thing that we do is to co is to uh, first calibrate the machine, and we calibrate it using the calibration card. The first thing that we are going to do is to connect the machine together with the calibration cap white side and this one is used to erase any information that was there before uh, for the previous sample uh, and once we have connected the scanner and the machine the scanner is is uh, controlled now by the application so at this stage now the, uh, the scanner is connected we are going now to um, connect is guided by the application uh, and uh, we are going to press the scan button first uh, that's going to scan the white side and after the white side we will scan the yellow side uh, so that we make sure that this machine is now in proper and good working condition before we get into the sample as this is happening uh, we are going to take a soil sample from the bucket remember we took this sample from the soil uh, from the farm directly from the farm and we are going to pick using our soil cup that has uh, the amount that uh, it's supposed to, to, uh, to take and uh, as part of preparation this is ready and it is good it is now time to change uh, to the yellow side uh, we change to the yellow side we change the machine to the yellow side connect properly and uh, then we press the scan button uh, and then we wait for the direction uh, once it is through it will ask for the sample and as you can see it's a quick process it is free from human error. Uh, the accuracy here is better because all issues that come with wet chemistry are eliminated at this stage. So we are through and the machine, as you can see here, it has a video so that the operator can be able to see. Number two, it has the direction that are written. So whoever the person we have and we have been able to train cannot make mistakes because the total control of the machine is by the application. So we are now getting into stage one, the analysis, uh, and we put the scanner on the soil and we press the scan button. As you can see here, uh, we are already in stage one. And once it is through with the stage one, it will put a tick. Uh, the scan button here will stop. I will just see a uh, green color. Uh, and then uh, we will wait for the machine to uh, pick what is on the soil. It uses infrared, near infrared light. And you know generally, when you're using the general, uh, in the normal laboratory, we use uh, spectroscope, and this is an improved uh, technology of uh, spectroscope. Now we get into stage two. So the first thing that we do is, we are going to remove the machine from the soil, uh, put it back into our bucket, uh, then mix again, we mix thoroughly. And then from there, we take another sample, and we are going to repeat this one for five times. Second time, we are putting the machine again on the soil sample, and then we connect again and uh, wait for the for the for the for the scanner to finish doing its work. Uh, the machine does five times so that it can be able to improve uh, the level of accuracy. Uh, it takes the average of the of the total, and that's what we submit to the crowd so that we are able now to get back the result in five minutes. Now five minutes are over, uh, so the, the, the application here is asking for now the details of the farmer. We are going to get the details of the farmer in which we are going to input now the name of the farmer. Uh, then the next one is uh, the telephone number. We know he is in Kenya, we had a country called Kenya. Uh, from there we put, uh, we put the, the PO box and the email address, then we go to the next one. The next one is that we want to know the, the specific field which is here. And this farm uh, is the proc one of this farmer, uh, which is two acres, we put two acres. And then we pick the GPS for exact position here, so that even if uh, somebody else in our company wants to come and visit uh, this farm, you'll be guided by the GPS and you come directly to here. Then after that, we, are, we go to the crop that the farmer is doing. And uh, so we are going to pick coffee, uh, from coffee we are doing it in uh, two acres and uh, that's it we set now the report and uh, uh, we just complete uh, this as an order and once this one we have completed 
it also registers in the in our office that that job has has been done and uh, within a few minutes we are going to get uh, to the report so that we can now uh, take you through uh, to what uh, we have found with this farm let me open now as you can see the report is now back uh, it is here it's quick uh, and what we want to see is that uh, we want to know the first status of this soil and you can see from here the soil fertility table tells us a few things there are six key and important things that we check number one is the soil acidity and as you can see from this report here this soil is acidic and that explains a number of few things that we have observed in the farm and we need to take care of them the second thing we look at is the organic carbon and here we are talking about manure uh, and you can see that the farmer requires to add more manure in the farm uh, and we encourage farmers to keep adding manure in their farms and then we look at the status of total nitrogen that is in the in the sample uh, then also total phosphorus total potassium and the last one is what explains about cation exit capacity and we are talking about how available are these nutrients uh, that are already in the soil to the crop uh, it's a critical thing and we need to look at it the next thing that we look at uh, in the next table is how we are going to correct the issues that we have found with this farm and number one we are saying during the dry season the farmer is required to add lime into this farm to fight the acidity the next one is on adding the manure uh, which we have given him the specific quantities that he is supposed to add and then we know that we are heading into the season in which the coffee is going to do flowering and so we have given him specifically the fertilizer that he is going to use as well as the quantity remember the one of the essence is to remove the guesswork in our farming because farming is a science uh, so before flowering uh, we want to give him enough nutrient that will allow his coffee to flower uh, to its uh, biological potential uh, and then after that we go to the next stage which is actually the stage of fruit growth and in this one you have the small seeds that are expanding we want to feed this 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 seed so that it will expand and we make sure that we maintain good quality of that seed and it, uh, a good quality and also a good uh, weight for for the same then finally uh, we got the stage at which this coffee uh, is well grown as you can see the seeds are already green and now we are heading to the last part of it in which it is required to now ripen so we recommend what fertilizers will allow the coffee to ripen evenly and also be able to shorten the harvesting period uh, and finally after that we do harvesting uh, we harvest and when we harvest we are actually injuring the crop we are injuring the plant uh, and also you know uh, in, in, in coffee farming we also do uh, pruning at the same time and uh, that means we have uh, caused more uh, woods on that crop and we need to feed the crop so that they can heal uh, and be able further to prepare for, for another flowering season. Then finally, what we do is that, uh, as you can see in the last uh, table, we give the emojis that signify what crops can be able to grow well in that soil. Uh, and uh, as you can see, because of the various issues, we saw the, the organic matter had issues, pH had issues, uh, the cation exchange had also issues. Then uh, those are things that we need to modify and take care of for us to be able to optimize production. And that would mean that we have higher level of production as well as we talk about income. And that makes it uh, a business uh, like any other business uh, that this farmer is doing.